All right, nine millimeter versus 327 Federal Magnum in short barrels. Now what I have today is Extreme Defender. Our nine millimeter is a 90 grain Extreme Defender and our 327 Federal Magnum is a 95 grain Extreme Defender. So what I wanna find out in this test is how well it does compared to target loads. And I have some basic target loads right here. Um, then I'm going to compare it to this. Now I would compare it to hollow points, but generally people that want ammunition like this, their options are limited, usually by law, that they can't use hollow point ammunition. So their only other option is target ammunition. So what I really want to find out here is how target ammunition compares to our extreme defender. Our 90 grain rated at 1400 feet per second for our 9 millimeter. Our 95 grain 327 rated at 1500 feet per second. Obviously that's through much longer barrels. We never know what we're, exactly what we're going to get out of our, um, our short barrels here. So it should be an interesting test. So we're gonna see, and, and with this ammunition here, you know, I'm not gonna run it through the graph or anything like that, but typically 115 grand, I've ran stuff like that through this, get about 1100 feet per second. And this gets about 1200 feet per second in our snub nose test. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. And then we're gonna do our 10% clear ballistic test with our um, quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent ribs or sturm. I'm not gonna pull this out today because I wanna put four shots in this gel and I don't want you know it hard to be hard to see the rounds so i am going to go through four layers of denim even though these are not expanding we're not going to clog a hollow point just because this is my standard protocol and then i'm going to do three inches of clear ballistics to represent like our pectoral muscle and a quarter inch medium density fiber board to represent our ribs or sternum typically this takes away about two inches of clear ballistics penetration but not always and the reason for that is a lot of times this will cause tumbling of the bullets it'll cause just weird stuff to happen that would actually happen in a real human body that's why this is more of a legitimate thing to test than just plain clear ballistics so that's what i want to see and typically with good hollow point ammunition stopping in this first block you know, at about 19 inches, I usually say that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Then I'm gonna shoot from 25 yards at my full size steel silhouette, just to kind of see versus the regular target ammo, if there's a little bit different point of impact where I aim. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up we have our nine millimeter rated at 1400 feet per second. I don't know what barrel length they use, uh, but it's probably a four or five inch barrel or something like that. So let's see what we get with our Extreme Defender 9mm for velocity and accuracy. 1353. 1280. 1282. 1308. 1280. And actually, this round shoots a lot more accurately in this pistol than typical ammo shoots for me in this pistol, which is kind of interesting. Um, definitely below rate of velocity, but not too bad considering it's a short barrel. So let's see how our 327 does. All right, next up we have our 327 Federal Magnum rated at 1500 feet per second. Obviously we're not gonna get that because this is a little snub nose, but let's see what we get anyways. 95 grain, Extreme Defender. 1230. 1232. All right, except for that last round, that was very consistent velocity, but that's about what I would have expected with a round like this. So let's hit our ballistic gel block, starting with the target round, and then we'll shoot it with a um, extreme defender and we'll see if there's a difference. And by the way, I didn't mention it, the nine millimeters of 115 grain full metal jacket and the 327 is an 85 grain jacket at soft point. So first up we have our nine millimeter, our full metal jacket. First thing we want to see is how's the penetration compare? Does the Extreme Defender penetrate less than a full metal jacket? And the second thing is what kind of damage we got going on. So first up we have our nine millimeter full metal jacket. Let's see what we get with this. 's so that's kind of surprising in a sense here because it looks like it did decent for for just being a, a cheap full metal jacket because we looks like we got some tumbling right there um, we stopped at 
about 16 and three quarters, which would typically only be about 18 and three quarters, typically, uh, without the MDF. So let's hit it with our Extreme Defender and see how it compares. All right, Extreme Defender, we'll see if there's a difference here. All right, so there is a little bit of a difference here. Uh, one thing I'm noticing though, is it did significantly arc to the to the um, right and we have a more consistent damage path and we stopped at about 14 and a half which would typically be about 16 and a half so that's actually not too bad i can't say it's significantly better than the full metal jacket but uh, it's a little better let's see how our 327 does all right, 327 Federal Magnum. We got our 85 green jacketed soft point. Let's see how this does. All right, I keep having this phenomenon happen where it kind of bounces off the bottom of the shelf here because the way clear ballistic melts and I flip it upside down before I set it here, it kind of does that. Um, however, it's mostly hitting gel here. You know, I'm not gonna shoot it again because that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good shot here. And what we're seeing here is about 17 and three quarters, which would typically be about 19 and three quarters um, without the MDF. That's actually not too bad. So let's hit it up here with our 327 Extreme Defender and see how that compares. All right, Extreme Defender 327, let's see how this will do. And I was thinking it would get pretty darn close to that uh, bullet channel with the other one. And it kind of did. It kind of touched it just a hair. Because this one actually arced to the left as the other one arced to the right. So interesting for sure. And there's definitely more damage with the 327 Federal Magnum. You know, and it just kind of arced into the other channel just about that long like a half an inch and then arced back out you can't see it from this camera angle but it's it's not enough for me to, to say that any of this is invalid but what we're looking at here is a little bit less for about 14 and a half which would definitely be about 16 and a half so what we're seeing here definitely is that the extreme defender well it, it's definitely doing better than the full metal jacket or the target ammo with our nine millimeter, it wasn't very significant uh, difference, but with our 327, it's a massively different significance uh, because this is just kind of straight through. There's very little going on there as where with our Extreme Defender, it just massive amount of damage right here. It just blew right through all of this stuff here and just, just like our fiber board here, you know, up here's our extreme defenders and here's our full metal jacket or target ammo you know there's there's seemingly more damage from what i can tell so it's not significantly better but it's better however what we're seeing here is our target ammo really doesn't do what a lot of people say it will do they'll say oh pass right through everything well it really didn't didn't do too bad so but if I had to choose one of these, I would definitely pick the Extreme Defender. So let's shoot from 25 yards, see if there's a different point of aim or a different point of impact from my point of aim with target ammo versus these Extreme Defenders. All right, so I thought I'd just show these bullets. And this is not typical at all for these, these paths here. You know, I typically try to keep them two inches apart and they go straight through and they don't intersect. These actually intersected here, like I was saying, just to, for a, a, a slight moment from the top here. So... Down here we had our 9mm, up here we had our 327, so here's our 9mm full metal jacket. Here's our 327. This is the only one that really could have deformed and it didn't at all. 
We have our nine millimeter extreme defender, of course, no deformation, 327. So that's what you get with that. Interesting. All right, 25 yards from the target first up. I'm gonna fire five rounds of these full metal jackets. And then I'll switch on to five rounds of our extreme defenders. Just gonna aim center mass, shoot slow, see what I get. Extreme Defender. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but those definitely hit a lot harder than those full metal jackets. So let's see how our revolver does. All right, our 327. I'm gonna try to aim just a little bit higher to try to see these impacts. We got, I got three rounds of our target ammo and three rounds of the Extreme Defender. Let's see what I can get here. That's kind of shot all over the place for me. Extreme Defender now. And the Extreme Defender is actually grouped a little bit tighter for me on the steel as well. So what I'm seeing here, it, this is interesting because most full metal jacket or target ammo really over penetrates in our testing. As where these two calibers actually did not. So it's kind of hard to really see a significant difference. But the Extreme Defender is definitely significantly better than a lot of full metal jacket. And what we're definitely seeing here is it definitely passed the test. And at close range, the nine millimeter shot better for me than typical with that ammo. At 25 yards, not so good. Our 327, kind of the opposite in a way. So what we're seeing here is there's definitely a better performance with our Extreme Defender. You know, I wish I could showcase this a little bit better, but our target ammo did so good today, which is interesting because it rarely does. Uh, but overall, not bad ammo for what I'm seeing in this type of test. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like. And thanks for watching.